Don't blink. You might miss Jaw White. You're so close! Static for me because starting out, like, I never really thought that I could get to this level. I'm on Mel Jr. that not only qualified for the Arkansas State Championships, but broke a 5A West record for the mile and 800 meter. 1600, I ran a 437, and then in the 800, I ran a 201.56. However, the way John and his team trains is a lot different compared to most schools. What's behind you right now? Um, this is the area that we run on. Ja did all his training on this parking lot because his school doesn't have a track. We just have to visualize all that stuff. Just make a mark here. Hey, there's the zone. Take your steps and, you know. For the mile, uh, we usually start at this stop sign right here, and then we just run all the way around. There's a hill up there. Come back down, and it all just loops around back to right here. I mean, it's doable. It's doable. So far, doable is working just fine. But some parents are getting impatient. Come to find out, this has been going on for over a decade that the school has been built and they've still yet to provide these students with facilities and even access to resources of facilities. It's a, it's a little bit disappointing. But things appear to be changing for the better. So behind me is where Mom L High School plans on building their track and field facilities. When that's supposed to happen, we're not really sure. Everything's been passed, I'm, I'm, I do believe, through the boards and all. And they've, they've surveyed the land out here behind us. And I think that's where the track and the new field house and that kind of stuff is going to be. Yeah. So it's in the works. So hopefully we have it before next season. Despite the setbacks and lack of facilities, these student athletes are on the right track with 10 different Hornets qualifying for state. It's just the will and determination of the team. I mean, the team really is a family, uh, even the coaches as well.